guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a big week. <laughs> At the start of the year, I couldn't even run two kilometers without stopping and feeling like I was gonna die because I was so out of breath. And here we are, we are five days out from my first ever 10K run, but it's actually a 10K race because I've entered a 10K race. And I'm kind of excited, but I am also a little bit nervous because we've never run that far before and we're leaving it to race day. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do, but we're going with it and I have no expectations of myself on Sunday other than I just want to finish it and I just want to get round and feel proud of myself that like I actually did that because this was not on the cards at the start of the year and I don't know, it's kind of fun to challenge yourself. It's nice to have a goal. I feel, you know, over the last year or so, I really haven't had a specific goal we moved house things have been busy and i've just been cruising along with my training but over the past few weeks i've kind of ramped it up and i've enjoyed it so <sighs> hopefully it goes okay i've actually just got ready for the day put a little bit of makeup on i'm really enjoying not wearing too much mascara i don't know i haven't even got any on but I don't like wearing mascara anymore. It's just quite clumpy on your eyes, especially when you're only wearing daytime makeup. But I've got dressed into a new outfit. I kind of love it. I need to show you. So this is today's gym outfit. It's all women's best, but how nice are these shorts? I just feel like they're so nice. And then I'm wearing the Define Collection bra and I've just crossed it over at the back just for a little bit more support. So I have been wearing it just over each shoulder. And then I saw someone wearing it like this and thought, that's a good idea. Today, I thought that we could just do a kind of fun full day of eating whilst kind of preparing for my run. But also I have some very exciting holidays coming up and I want to feel good for them. I don't want to diet as such, but I want to make sure that I'm eating, you know, the right foods. I'm nourishing my body. I'm fueling myself for my workouts and my runs. So I thought we could do a full day of eating today and just show you exactly what I'm eating. I've actually got the most fun summer planned i'm not gonna lie i'm going to marbella in a few weeks for my birthday it's the big two nine i can't believe next year i'm 30. yeah she's getting old i can't believe it yeah do you know what i'm not actually scared to turn 30 because i feel like getting older is obviously inevitable and you just have to embrace it do you know what every year apart from this year with obviously all the stuff that's gone on in my life <laughs> Every year does normally get better. And yeah, I think you should never be scared of getting older because it just gets more fun. You have a lot more freedom. You can do what you want. And then I'm actually staying out in Marbella for a week because the week after <laughs> it's my best friend's hen do. <gasps> Feel like i'm gonna come back a shell of a person but that's gonna be really fun and then my sister and i have just actually booked a holiday in august we're going to the south of france again which is my favorite holiday of the year so yeah we've got some fun things coming up i want to feel good operation feel good train hard is a go before the builders arrive i'll actually just show you quickly the progress with the bathroom in the bedroom because it's quite drastic and i am so excited for it to be done and for us to you back in our bedroom and have our new bathroom this is the progress so far we did have that half wall there that's now been taken out it's all been plastered this is the bathroom shower <gasps> and the unit guys how nice is that i actually can't do First is a peanut butter and jam bagel with a women's best cherry. They win. You can't already be tired. Slept all night. Ah, uh, you're back in bed. Can you? My plan with my nutrition this week is just to fuel up, but also make sure that I'm eating good whole foods. I mean, I know this isn't like, well, it's not that bad. I just want to make sure I'm not eating too much rubbish. It's going to make me like bloat and potentially have a bad stomach. <laughs> Mm. So hey Holly, I hope you're well. I hope you're having a really good week so far. The thing is that you try and plan your day so that you know exactly how you can fit your favorite foods in. So when you wake up in the morning, make a plan for the day. And if you're craving something like a chocolate bar, pop that in the morning. <sighs> is 
is my gym pre-workout meal. So I've got 60 grams of oats with one scoop of Women's Best Fit Pro Weight in vanilla, topped with some protein granola, blueberries, and the last of the peanut butter. This is actually the best combination ever. Wait, I'm a hybrid. I'm a hybrid trainer. So I need some to fuel my run. No, it's it. Just a tiny little bit. That's enough. Are you excited to run on Sunday? I actually am now. After we did our 8K, I'm actually excited. You? Yeah, what do you think? We know we can complete it now, don't we? We were going into it thinking, I hope we can complete this. What, um, what time? Yeah, what time are you going to aim for? We didn't set times, did we? We wanted to just complete it, but then obviously because I did the 8K in, what, 39 minutes the other day, I want to try and get 10. This is why I don't try and keep up with him, because I'd be very disheartened. You're pissed off, aren't you? I'm sorry, no, you didn't even train for it. He's done like one run this year, and there's me running every no. single week since the last week of January, and still struggling <laughs> to get around. Well, I used to play football. To be fair, to be honest with you, I used, I, to be actually... a bi I used to do biathlons. I used to do cross country runs all the time. So you've got, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I didn't actually think I would be able to do an 8K without stopping the other day. I've just, I've done the first my fourth run of the year, by the way, not first. A couple of 3Ks, one 5K, and then that one 8K. Um, but, to be honest with you, because we set ourselves up to do an 8k, you know what I'm like. I've been doing ice baths every day since the 1st of Jan. That's massively helped. I'm telling you now, if I haven't done the ice baths, there's no way I got through an 8k. <laughs> Not a chance. I don't need an ice bath to run 8k. I do. How was your ice bath experience at the weekend? <laughs> I've got a video of that. You should import that into this clip. I've already showed them. <laughs> Never again. But no, I reckon my time ways, I'm going to try and do it in, well I'm going to do it in 50 minutes, aren't I, surely? I want 50 minutes. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm not worried about my time, but I just want to make sure I don't run slower than seven kilometers. Look at the weather. Sorry, it's seven minutes per kilometer. Look at the weather. I'm now going for a run. Pissing in the rain. Right, enjoy. It's leg day. The best multivitamins from Women's Best. They are like little jelly babies, and I look forward to taking these every single day. What? <laughs> Today is leg day. It's the best day of the week. Me, I'm only actually training legs once this week because obviously we've got the run and don't want to overdo it and be struggling to get round because I've overtrained. Are you going to train legs this week? No, I'm already. Monday. Oh. Oh, that's what you're going to do. I've done, yeah, I'm not going to do more. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do, I'm going to do back and triceps today. Okay. I was going to do hamstrings, but I've just run a 5k. I shouldn't do any, should I? No, I actually trained um, upper body yesterday. I did back and biceps, and then I had a rest day on Monday. So this will be my second training day of the week, and then I'm gonna get one more in, and then just have a couple of rest days before the run. So I am nice and rested, and we are ready to go. to get out of me. You know when you have a workout and you're just absolutely starving? I'm so hungry. Anyways, for lunch, we're having fajitas, but we cook it all in the air fryer for ease because I want to do a bit of work. I'm also going to heat up these rolls. I really wanted some baguettes, but I couldn't find the right ones. So these are like home white rolls. I guess that's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to heat these up and basically put the cooked chicken, peppers and onion, like fajita mix into these, top it with mozzarella cheese and then put it in the air fryer so that the cheese all melts. It's gonna be good. Top and bottom. Mm. To make this recipe, we're gonna need some rolls. So I've got these that you can bake in the oven so that they're fresh and there's nothing better than the smell of bread, sorry. Then we've got a fajita mix, peppers, onion, mozzarella for the top and then some chicken. <laughs> Now the chicken, peppers and onions are in the air fryer with the mix and I'm just going to air fry that for around 17 to 18 minutes until the chicken is all cooked through. 
These need to go in the oven at 220 degrees C for eight to 10 minutes. We're just gonna top each baguette with some grated mozzarella. Oh my God, these look so good, I'm starving. There is my lunch, two chicken fajita mini baguettes, air fried only, and oh my goodness, they smell unbelievable. This is like my perfect post-workout meal. I might put some Peronese on top. Mm. Good evening, everybody. I am still full from lunch. I feel like that was a really big lunch and I had that quite late at like three o'clock. So I am quite full, but I am gonna eat. I mean, normally I might have been like, okay, I'm just gonna have like something small later. But as I've got this run on Sunday, I think that would be a little bit silly. Not that, to be honest, I think it will affect it that much, but I think I just wanna know that I've had like three good meals every single day this week, if you know what I mean. And obviously, you know, I still need to hit my protein anyways. So I'm actually cooking one of Kieran's favorite meals tonight. It's kind of basic, but it actually tastes really good. And it's so easy to make. You can add in like whatever veggies and salad bits you kind of want to it. So you can make it your own, but we're gonna make like a beef taco rice bowl. Now I feel like the theme has been Mexican today. <laughs> that wasn't done on purpose. Let's make a beef taco rice bowl. So to make this, we're gonna need some sour cream, although I've only got creme fraiche, so we're gonna pretend that's sour cream. Tortilla chips, rice, tomatoes, cheese, beef mints, I'm not gonna use all this, um, taco seasoning, lettuce, and some lime. <laughs> honestly the quickest thing to make and it looks so good like so many different flavors we've obviously got our micronutrients in there as well and we've got a good protein source with the lean beef i get five percent fat beef oh i'm kind of excited to eat that it smells so good there's actually nothing better than mexican food probably one of my top favorite cuisines the question is do you mix your food or do you eat it as individual things? Because that looks like dog food. It all tastes the same. Yeah, I know, but why would you mix it together? I feel like it has to look aesthetically pleasing in order for me to enjoy it. No, yeah. you get a mouthful, I get a mouthful, but it tastes the same. <laughs> no, I don't think yeah. it does, because you lose the taste of the sour cream, because you Rice, mix it all in. mince, a tomato. How is it? What's your favorite meal? Is it taco? Seasoning. Taco bowl, yeah. It's really good. Rate it out of 10? Nine. Huh? Nine. Nine, that's pretty good. I need to show you what they've done today in the bathroom because it looks so good. This was done today. So they've done the back herringbone wall, which is super exciting. I absolutely love the tiles that we've gone for. They're like a color cutter. Why, if that's how you pronounce it, I mean, I don't know. We're gonna have brass fittings as well. Anyways, guys, I am actually gonna finish this vlog here because it is getting late. It's nearly eight o'clock, I swear, every day. I don't finish work until eight o'clock. Like, I sit down to watch TV at like 20 past nine, and then by the time I've sat down, it's obviously quite late, and because I wake up at six o'clock every day, I just don't get to watch any TV. I feel like I'm missing out. We've just been so busy, and the builders get her at like half seven in the morning, so I have to get to bed super early so I'm not like in my pajamas when they arrive. <laughs> But um, yeah, tomorrow I'm actually gonna get up and I'm gonna do a 5K. So that'll be my first run of the week. And then obviously on Sunday, it is the big day. I think I'm gonna be fine, but it's, I think it's just the prospect of running 10K that scares me. Like the 8K that I did last week, I finished it and I thought, no, I definitely could have run a little bit more. Do you know what I find with running though is that it's a massive mind game. It's not, I mean, yes, it obviously is a huge element of fitness, but it is a mind game. Like how much can you push yourself to keep on going or how much can you push yourself to actually increase the speed and all that kind of stuff. And I'm really learning that. And I think it's a nice challenge. So I'll let you guys know how I get on next week. Keep an eye on my Instagram because I'll be doing updates there. And yeah, fingers crossed, she makes it round. <laughs> if I can do it, then you guys can do it as well. That's all I know. But thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating and I hope you enjoyed my video. I will see you at the same time next week. Bye!